I can then do a backflip and then continue the flight, do a side roll. You can see how intuitive it is. It's very, very easy to use, which is awesome. So these are my first impressions on the DJI Avata 2. I really love the kit and how it all comes. I love the presentation. I love the fact that we actually get a battery pack attached to the headset now, so we don't have to have something dangling down, plugged into our pockets or anything like that. The controller itself, the RC Controller 3, feels extremely lightweight, but it's got some extra buttons on here. It feels nice in the hand, which is great. And then the drone itself, the Avata 2, has an awesome build quality to it. A lot lighter than I thought. Everything is a lot lighter than I thought, which is nice, because you don't want an uncomfortable fit when you've got multiple devices that you have to hold onto or have mounted onto you in some way. So the Avata 2, let's see how it performs. If you are interested in the DJI Avata 2, then I will have some epic deals down below in the video description. So make sure to check those out. There will definitely be something there for you if you're looking to pick up the Avata 2. So I've got the headset attached and ready to go. I love how easy it is to actually tighten the brace on the back here. The controller, like I said, is extremely ergonomic and lightweight. And I also love the fact that you can double tap this button here and it enables the cameras on the front of the headset. So that means that in real time, you can see what's happening. Perfect if you need to land land somewhere, perfect if you're assessing any sort of risks in the area or any sort of safety concerns you might have. So that's a really cool feature that's new here with the Avada 2. And so it is a lot clearer now when you're trying to adjust the lenses for your vision. You've still got the same knobs underneath that you can adjust, but it comes up with a clearer indicator of, I guess, what different focal point you're using for each eye. So you can adjust the width of the lenses themselves, and then you can adjust the focus point on both sides. It just does a really great job, but it's a lot clearer than the original Avada One. You can see the focus point on the screen right now of where I'm actually pointing the controller. If you press the button over here once, it will pretty much recenter it right into the middle there, which is handy if you've lost the focus point for whatever reason or you've drifted away, you can just press it and it will take you back to the beginning. So it's the same process here. You double tap the orange button here. That will prime the motors. Press and hold to launch and then it will get to a certain altitude, certain height. And then from there, you just angle the remote where you want to focus and then you accelerate in the direction that you want to go to. So we can see here, I'm going to go between this little gap here. It's immediately intuitive. I'm used to this from the original Avada one and this is the same, right? The same situation here. I'm comfortable immediately with the controls and I just love how intuitive the controls are, especially because like I don't have really any experience with FPV. I'm definitely not an FPV pilot. There are some amazing pilots out there. So I'm at that beginner point. But for someone like me to feel confident to be able to bank over these trees and to adjust the altitude and to get those shots that you're looking for from an FPV drone is amazing. I just feel so confident being able to do this. All right, and so I'm gonna test out the easy acro mode. This uh, digital crown on the side here, which I've shown you a few times, so I can double tap that, and hopefully you can see the fact that I actually have a feed now in real time of what's going on. So that's for safety if I need to look, and then double tap goes back. If I press the button once, it will recenter my focus point. And then all I have to do here is I just scroll with the wheel to go between the different acro modes, easy acro mode. So this is the flip option here. So I can basically fly and then angle how I want to with the joystick. So pushing forward will do a front flip and I can even do it on an angle. I can go to the left and it will do a left roll, right roll, and then a back flip. So you've got all that control while it's moving. So you don't have to stop to do that. You can keep the momentum and continue that momentum as you're doing the flips, which is just unbelievable really when you think about it. The fact that they've been able to do this and it works flawlessly. So you can see I can go around this bank like so. I can then do a back flip and then continue the flight. Do a side roll. You can see how intuitive it is. It's very, very easy to use, which is awesome. So I'm going to chuck it into sports mode now. So I believe I just press the menu button. There we go. So we're straight into sports mode. So we're gonna start recording. We're recording on both here. So I'm now immediately into the sports mode. You just press that M button to uh, change the mode basically. And now you can see how much power this guy has. It definitely is a lot louder in the sky, a lot more obvious in the sky, um, but Man, it has amazing control. I can see that it's actually grayed out the flip option, so it looks like I can't flip now in sports mode. You can do the slide, though, in sports mode. 
which um, definitely seems to be a bit more subtle. It's kind of just like an angling. It angles up or down slightly. You know, I feel like I'd prefer to just use the controls in most situations here. But you can see the speed I'm getting is, what, 16 meters per second, so unbelievably fast. You can definitely hear it in the sky as it flies by. But still, feels extremely responsive to every movement I'm putting in. Creates such a unique FPV experience that you really can't get from many FPVs as a beginner because you would normally need to have some form of knowledge. You'd need to know how to program them or know how to fly in you know, like a full acro mode. But this is me just flying normally, right? And I can let go of the, the accelerator and it's just going to hover for me. You can also push away and it can slowly pull back. Um, it's more of a brake, right? So as you go forward and then you pull back, or push forward, sorry, that's the brake. Uh, you can also accelerate and then press the emergency stop button, like so, press it now, and you can see it will just immediately stop in its place, like so. Press it again to re-enable it, but that's a great safety feature that we had in the initial Levada. All right, so we've got a boat coming in here, so I'm just gonna try to get a little bit of a banking shot around it. As we angle out, again, this is in sports mode, I can angle it around, fly behind it. You can really do so much here, and it just feels intuitive, right? Like the controls do feel very responsive, and I do feel confident flying this thing. I did with the original, and this one is no different here. Everything is just smooth. Feels great, looks great, easy to control, no latency. It's an immediate experience. And you can just see, you can get some very unique FPV style shots as a beginner. Like I said, don't really have much experience with FPV, and I'm able to capture some pretty unique FPV shots here. My first impressions are that the Avada 2 does everything that the Avada 1 did, and does it even better. It gives you some more features, uh, more options. The headset feels a lot better. The controller is a lot more responsive. There's a bunch of new uh, features and functionalities that you can enable. And yeah, immediately it just feels as good as the initial one did, right? Which still feels amazing and uh, has some awesome functions to it. But this is just the next evolution of it. I love how all the initial features of the first one have returned back here. Uh, makes it nice and easy to jump in to what you remember as such. Like they haven't introduced too many new features here that are gonna overwhelm you. There's obviously the easy acro mode. There's a few other options that you can enable. But um, yeah, it's got the same great experience, loving it. The Avada 2 feels like an effortless FPV experience. That's kind of the thoughts I was having as I was flying it. Like, yes, I've had some experience with the first one, and yes, it feels very similar to that, but even just watching my friend Eamon flying the drone, like he was able to pick it up within a few minutes, he's had no FPV experience, and he could just effortlessly fly it around. So effortless FPV is how I'd describe this. Yes, there's some more advanced modes if you want to go into the full acro and get the amazing FPV freestyle stuff that you've seen around and about from the amazing FPV pilots out there. But you know, this gives you a chance, an intro into it, a safe intro into it where it hovers, right? Like straight when you let go of the accelerator, it hovers. Straight when you accelerate and point in a direction, it goes exactly in that direction. There's no latency, there's no delay, there's no bugging. It's just a flawless experience. So effortless FPV is how I'd describe it. And uh, this is an evolution from the original one, which is really nice to see because the original Avada brought so many cool new features and the Avada 2 has just added on with a bunch of new features and I love the design really like I love the design of the new drone the headset having the strap on the back with the battery included feels a lot nicer and the controller as well just feels nicer again so they've done a really good job here